Shalom and hello, Saseni, Saseni, my safeguarding family around the world. I pray that you guys are doing well. You're fine. You're keeping children safe around the world. You're keeping family safe. And things are getting better every day. Siku ya leo, katika hii video, tungetaka tu kuongelesha familia, kuongelesha wazazi, na kuongelesha young people, especially how wanafikiria, you know, wakona pesa. We would like to really talk about pesa. Pesa imiongelewa katika Biblia na Biblia inasema pesa ni mzuri sana. But it can also be a source and a root of all evil. Money is good. It answereth a lot of things. But it can also be a source of issues and problems. Boniface, Boniface, Boniface. Katika hii issue yako na Ruth, why? Tunajua pesa zako zimelete shida zikafanya utupe familia kwa sababu Mungu amekubariki ukapata tusenti ile ambaye watu nobody actually knows how much money you have naambia tu watu wewe ni tajiri wewe wewe ni umetengeneza pesa but nobody knows actually how much you, you know hata hujaiambia watu hizi pesa unasemanga wewe ni unaitangwa na director J ba brother Bill Gates ni za ni, ni milioni za Kenya ni dollars ni za Tanzania ama ni za wapi You know, nobody knows. But anyway, wacha tutu kupatia the benefit of doubt na kwamba munga mekubariki because hiyo ndiyo kazi ya mungu wetu, anapenda kutubariki. But, ukibarikuwa na mungu, siyo ukuje tena ufanya hiyo pesa, iwe mungu. Iwe pesa hiyo ndiyo utakuwa sasa unasumbua watu kila siku na ye, unatukana watu, unaudhi watu. Mbaka wazazi wako, mama yako ule mekuza, mbaka mama yako mkwe, the mother of your wife, ule ambaye mekuzalia watoto. You know? It is wrong. So, watu wangu, na hitu wa Jeff kama kawaida, your safeguarding officer, and I think hii video siku wa leo ni critical, so that usikujo tupate young men and women that are going to have money as their source of worship instead of worship God. So, Boniface siku ya leo aliweza kufika katika office za True KTV, akaweza kutawa na Director J, aka muomba director J ampigie simu mama yake maana yake amekuwa akijaribu kumpigia mama yake simu mama yake anakataa kuchukua simu kwa sababu ya vile alimtuzi vile alimuonesha madharau vile alifanya tabia mbaya pale pamoja na aliyekuwa eh, side chicken wake Ruth ambaye sasa wamekosana hata hawaonani hata waongeleshani uh, and of course kwa sababu ya heshima ya director J mama ya Boniface aliweza kukuja pale Boniface aliweza kuomba msamaha ambaye ni ya juju. For me that was not a proper apology. Uko umetukana mama yako na umefanyia mama yako mambo kama yale Boni alimfanyia na madharau. You know hayo yote. I think you deserve to really go before God first. Also mama yako akifika pale amekulea, amekuzaa. Ulinyonya, you know, mpaka ukakuwa mkubwa akakusomesha. Huyu mwanamke ame, amesomesha Bonina pesa za marikiti according to vile mama ya Bonia alisema baba ya Bonia alisema ataki story zake kwa sababu nafikiri alikuwa ameanza kuona hizi tabia za Boni so the apology that Boni really gave to the mother there it's for me water based it's nothing angefaa nyenyekee zaidi ambe mama yake msamaha you know so that the, the blessings of god upon his life can be restored na and sio vibaya hakuna mtu anawezi kosea na kuna mtu hawezi shikwa na upuzi yake especially ikifika ni pahali pa wasichana you know sometimes women make men go crazy so but anyway um we can uh, continue to thank god because at least somehow he apologized and mama yake pia akamwambia alikuwa ameita mama mama yake purity but he was not aware yeye yeah, alikuwa na expect waongee na mama yake hapa peke yake but mama yake alikuwa shaita mama purity ili wakuja waweze kuangalia shida ya boni hapa is what we've been expecting and I know most of you have been expecting that Boni is going to come back to his niece. Sasa vile Ruth ameenda na mama ya Ruth wamekosana na yeye na Ruth. We knew he's going to come back to his senses na atakimbilia kuomba Mungu ili arudiane na familia yake purity na watoto wake. Everybody knew this was going to happen. This was going to happen. It has come. It is here. That is the truth. Alatarudi back aanze kuomba msamaha na sasa of course anataka mama yake amsaidie ili aweze kuchukua purity back warudishie family yake because ameona kule kwingine amekulua 3.5 million according to him na nadai atawapeleka mama ya, ya, ya Ruth na Ruth kotini 
sababu amemkulia pesa mpaka watoto wao wengine wale amesomesha anyway so mama yake of course amekuja hapa na akaongea na yeye akamwambia it is very bad tabia zile amekuwa nazo na nini na nini uh, the mother was humbled enough she is a woman of god so of course aliweza ku kumpokelelea na akasema ongojee waone mama yake eh, purity akikuja vile atasema U, shida ya boni hapa ni ya kwamba alijua kwamba purity ameshafunga virago and i think ametoka Nairobi ameelekea kama ni kwenda kukana mama yake na alianza kuhofia mambo ikifika hapo of course itakuwa kitungumu i think shida ya boni alikuwa anafikiria purity atamuongojea hapo akimfanyia madharao anamtusi anamchapa anamuita mtu mchafu anasema hajui kuvaa anasema jasoma eti hana maadili anafaa rudi kwa mama yake afundishwe maadili sasa vile amefunga virago na anataka kurudi kwa mama yake akakae huko Geshari kuliko akae Nairobi boni sasa tena hataki hivyo anataka sawa rudiane of course this is a beautiful mother of uh, purity and uh, purity hapo the picture on your right hand side unaona ni ile purity alikuwa analia sana baada ya kutukana na boni sana kuitwa takataka kuitwa mtu mchafu hajasoma hajui kuvaa ni nini hana tabia all those things ingine ni ya juzi wakati of course waliweza kugundua kwamba eh, Ruth ame amemkataa na vile Ruth amekuwa kimfanyia and uh, in the middle that is the picture of um, her beautiful mother of course uh, huyu mama alijaribu kuita Bonia kuja hapo aweze kuongea na purity alafu Bonia akakataa kuja leo alidhihirisha kwamba yes niko kataa alikataa kukuja kwa hivyo zina tabia mbaya maana yake ukiitwa na mama mkwe at least hata ange show up ama atachukue simu aseme ameshikwa na shughuli whatever lakini kuwakalisha pale kwa ofisi za director J na akataye kuja na alikuwa amesema atakuja that was a wrong thing to do to your mother in law wakati mama alifika pale of course alikuja kuwa meji uh, aji prepare of course ameweza kuongea na the daughter she had been given everything alafu pia ameweza kukaa chini na ayubu ameweza kukaa chini na director J so there is nothing that uh, mama purity haelewi ha na anajua mtoto wake amepitishwa through hell na boni amefanywa madharao amechukuliwa kama takataka na boni boni hamtaki boni ameona sasa huyu anafaa tu arudi kwa mama yake so of course walikaa pale and uh, wakaanza kufanya kama kesi kidogo pale lakini sasa ile shida ilitokea pale ni vile boni alianzia kuongea kuhusu pesa zake boni alikuja akasema live live ya kwamba yeye amenunua alitoa mahari kwa kina purity alipelekea mama yake mahari and therefore purity amemnunua purity is her property mama yake purity alisikia hivyo ni kama alitaka kuruka jua akamwambia uwezi kununua mtoto wangu kama hizo pesa zako unaongelele hapo takataka wacha nitakurudishia you know na uwezi kutesa purity labda mimi ni kwa kaburi of course boni wakati alianza kusikia mambo kama haya alibaki akianza kustuka akaona ni kama hapa tena ameanza kupatiwa laana and uh, of course akagewa kidogo but boni shida ile kubwa ko naye hapa this man and i pray safeguarding officers safeguarding men safeguarding young people tafadhali mtu usikuje uanze kuchukua pesa design hii ukikubali pesa ikue sasa imekuingia kwa kichwa unaanza kuiabud because boni anaabudu pesa yake boni believes money can do everything for him mpaka inaweza kumnunulia bibi inaweza kumnunulia watoto inaweza kumnunulia mama mkwe because Saizi vile Bonnie ameongelesha mama purity. I personally do not think that this woman will ever respect this man. Because hawezi kuongelesha mama yako in love namna hiyo. Mama yako in love ama you know mama ya bibi yako ni mtu ambaye unafaa kupatia heshima kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye amekupatia bibi ambaye amekuzalia watoto bibi ambaye anakupikia anakufulia anaku nguo anakufanyia hayo mambo yote anakutengeneza na kutunza anaku patia fulfillment baka kwa kwa, kwa 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 mambo ya ki, kimwili why would you then be rude and abusive to yule mtu ambaye alinyonyesha bibi yako it is very wrong na especially katika mila za Kiafrika kuwezi kutukana mama ya bibi yako it is wrong na ni the same tabia ndio hiyo hiyo mama yako mkwe hawezi kukutukana lakini of course bile boni sana hapa amekuja amekuja na hisia zingine chafu na mbaya ameanza kuonesha mama yake 
purity ya kwamba purity ni property yake amemnunua alienda kwa mpaka imagine anaanza huyu jamaa hata sijini nini mbaya na watu wengine imagine huyu jamaa akiuliza mama mama purity wewe uliletoa mahali lini si uliletoa mahali kwa 70 sijui 50 mimi nimetoa nimeleta mahali kwako nikiwa 30 so boni all that runs around his head is money vile pesa yake itazamfanyia sasa ile shida yako naye hapa ameambiwa PDD sasa ameelekea nyumbani she's not going to come back boni kama anamtaka atengeneze kichwa yake aioshe aichunge ailinde vizuri and then wakati atasikia anataka bibi yake na watoto warudi aende kwa kina PDD nyumbani na aende na wazee guys that is what boni was alikuwa anahofia because sasa boni anajua kuenda kuchukua huyo msichana tena huko itabidi sasa kae na wazee na of course itabidi atoke a heavy it will be a heavy uh, fine ile ambaye at, itabidi atolewe wazee na nini huko nyumbani ndio waweze kupatiwa msichana tena that is kama purity atamkubali because purity anaza mkataa purity anaza sema huyu jamaa amekuwa jangili amekuwa malaya amemfanyia tabia mbaya and therefore amkatae these two ladies huyu of course ni mama boniface a wonderful woman of god ambaye alikatana na bonia hata wakati walikuwa pale akasema yeye tabia yake ni mbaya Uh, I know and, and hakusaidi na yeye alisema mimi mtoto wangu najua ni kitu mbaya but tunaomba Mungu amsaidie kwa sababu ameomba msabaha let us try and work this out of course this other lady of course ni uh, mama purity again another wonderful woman huyu uh, mama purity pia tayari ameoneshana ako na you know that love of god now of course she wants the the, the daughter and the boniface eventually to reunite but anataka kwanza boni ajiangalie na ajue ya kwamba he cannot be you know living na maisha ya kuongelesha watu vibaya kwa sababu kuna pesa eh ananataka apatie mchana wake respect amtunze na amlinde na aache hiyo madharau anamfanyia because eh hii kama anafikiria pesa itamsaidia then she is very happy to raise her you know her daughter's children amsaidie na wakae huko nyumbani na Mungu ambariki kuliko akae ndani ya a uh, kukemewa kufokewa kudharaudua ndani ya boma ama ya marriage ya Boniface it is uh, a sad thing those two ladies unawaona hapo they left Jay's office today very happy na wakasema wao wako tayari watoto wao wakutane but itabidi kukue na wazee uh, mama Boniface is in line with that uh, mama Purity is in line with that mama Purity akitoka pale alisema tanda kuongea na wazee na taongea na Purity ndio hiyo mambo ipangwe mimi mkiniuliza I think everything here rose around purity purity ndiye atakuwa na last say because purity ndiye amekosewa hawa mama hawa ni watoto wao eh, na Boniface ndiye amefanya makosa so purity here has the last say ndiye atasema kama anataka Boniface purity anaweza kataa Boniface na mwambie sasa mimi naona tufanye co-parenting because wewe siwezi kutsadiki tena Boniface amevunja uh, you know the commandments za marriage he has defiled his bed and therefore purity can say honestly mimi sikutaki because wewe ni mtu wa kuzurula everywhere unaweza kuniletea magonjwa na nini na nini she has every right because boni amevunja uh, the vows that they said na akaenda huko nje na akalala wakati sasa ametupwa na ametumia pesa na amezunguka ame amechoka that is now when he wants to come back to crawl back into purity's life akuje sasa akuwe bwana mwingine and uh, therefore purity is the only person that can make that decision ya kwamba atamkubali ama hatamkubali purity akisema hatamkubali hata mbinguni atakuwa amekubaliwa because hawa ni watu ambao wamefunga ndoa and the only thing that can cause a man and a woman to part is adultery and that is what boni has done uh, wakati purity amekuwa bibi yake na amebaki faithful as as we know ni hayo tu watu wangu please mimi ningeuliza tafadhali tuchunge pesa sana isikuje katuaribu sisi wakati tunaanzaka kutafuta pesa tunaombaga Mungu sana tusaidie tupate pesa but ole wako my brother my sister my safeguarding family duniani if your god is going to bless you with money alafu uachilie hiyo pesa tena ikuje ikuwe shetani hiyo pesa ikuje sasa ikuwe we unaabudu hiyo pesa wewe unatusi everybody kwa mama yako baba yako wa mama warika ya mama yako wa baba warika ya baba yako unatusi kila mtu unaongelesha mtu kama matope kwa sababu uko na pesa i pray that night 
that day, that evening, that season will never come into your life. Because when that uh, ego and, and, and time comes, that will become the day you fall down. Mbaya sana. Na hayo siyo maombi yangu. Safeguarding families duniani. Na maombea a beautiful time in the presence of God. Dani ya familia zenyu. Mulinde watoto vizuri. Mungu wapatie hekima na njia za kutafuta mali. Mpate pesa. Mtajirike. Lakini muakikisha kwamba pesa hazita wai kuwa control. Pesa mstumie vizuri. There are beautiful ways you can spend money kama ku, kuangalia watoto yatima, kuangalia wajane, visiting the needy around the world, but also keeping yourself happy. You know? So, lakini sio ukue ti pesa za jyosoku wanafanya uangalecha watu matope, unatukana watu. That is not what, you know, utakuwa mungu, umeomba mungu wa kupatie pesa for. Apart from that, tunandelea kuwaombea, we hope that the meeting that will happen, that mungu watawasaidia, and purity may find a place in her heart to forgive the man because sisi ukituuliza tunasemanga children that do very well are those that are brought up within families where applicable ambaye kuna mama na baba lakini kama hakuna baba then mungu wana slot in kama hakuna mama mungu wana slot in lakini where we have mom and dad if it is possible ni vizuri wakue pamoja so that watoto walelewe katika hayo mazingira apart from that mungu wabariki sana please tieni komenti zenyo hapo Kama ujaza kusubscribe, naomba usubscribe. We are on the road to 10,000. Strong safeguarding family duniani. Tunaomba tafadhali tia komenti yako hapo. Make sure your notification bell is on. So that anytime tukizindua video, utaweza kujulishu. Apart from that, tunaomba like. And we'll see you very soon in another video. Blessings.